Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy. Thanks for joining me today. I have another project to share with you for my Christmas in July series. And um, as most of you know, most of this series is using crepe paper, snow and cocoa collection. Although there is other uh, projects that I will have on my channel um, from other Christmas collections besides snow and cocoa. So today I have another banner to share with you. And this one is um, a little different than the one I did previously, which was mostly focused on the turquoise black and white and gold. And this one is more focused on the turquoise and pink colors. So um, here is the first banner. And again, just like the other one, I did my own little tassel um, using just a variety of ribbon. And then I make my own banner base. Um, it's five and a quarter by six and a half. And I just, all, I, all my banners, I decide like what size, what style I want. I cut that and then I lay it on the next layering sheet. And then I just cut the same angle. And then I do it again. And then that's my base to use for the other um, banners that I make. So I always create a base, or not a base, a template. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Here is the first page, the fir first page, the first flag. I do not know why I cannot talk right now, but um, so this one is using one of the cut aparts, the little bear, and then I just mounted it on a pink um, piece of cardstock. And then these are chipboard pieces from the chipboard sheet. And um, I did mount this one up a little higher than the keep warm just to add a little dimension. And then this snowflake is from the chipboard. I have another chipboard piece layered on top of that. And then I just have um, different colors for the whole reinforcements there. So there's that one. And then this one. See if I can kind of get these things out of the way. Have this one here, and again, this is a chipboard piece. I do have it mounted up since the puffy wreath is behind it, and the wreath is on top of one of the cut aparts. And I do have the cut aparts on a black glitter um, base there, and then this is from the snowflake pack, and then I just added a little bling. And I did um, ink my edges with black soot, distress ink. And then we have this one here, which is really cute. I love this plaid, so cute. And I just layered a couple snowflakes, added some bling, chipboard piece. Look at this cute little birdie. Um, I did put one of the tags here, um, with, added a little bit of twine to it, and then just added some enamel dots. And then there's that. Now we have this one. Um, this is, I think this is one of the cut aparts. Yeah, it has to be one of the cut aparts. There's a 12 by 12 sheet that has some cut aparts on it. And then I just added this um, twine here and I stapled it, just a couple staples with my mini stapler. And then I have a doily underneath. This is one of the frames. And then look at this cute little chipboard piece. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then another chipboard piece popped up. A couple um, matte enamel dots here. And then I do have some kind of mint green re hole reinforcers there. Oh, I love this little car, so cute. And then the last one here is this one. And oops, just bent that. I have a snowflake, and then I cut um, just the uh, phrase out from the 12 by 12 sheet. Have a tag, used a few little enamel dots, added some twine, and added a little pom pom to the birdie's hat. These are all chipboard pieces. And I love this um, sheet from the collection, it's so cute. But we'll just kind of go back through. It's just a really cute, um, different colors to have up during the holiday time frames. I love the pink and teal together. It looks like that there. 
So it could be up for Christmas. You could put it up after Christmas for winter. It's totally up to you what you want to do. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like um, my banners and like what you are, are seeing during my Christmas in July series. And if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And if you are not a subscriber, please do so. So that way you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.